Can I get some help here? What is a sublease? Subleases, but kind of like buying a suit off a rack. If it fits, great, but if you have to make any modifications, well. Richard, what's happening? A sublease means renting space from another tenant in a building which already has a direct lease with the head landlord. So that tenant that you're renting from will be known to you as the sub landlord. And you are, you guessed it, the sub tenant. I I thought I was clear in my email that I needed a couple weeks. Low subleasing might seem like the cheaper, faster, and easier option. It's not the best option for everyone. So let's get into a couple of the pros and cons. In a typical market, subleases tend to be less expensive than a direct deal with a landlord. So this is also dependent on a couple of factors such as location, proximity to transit, and the length of term remaining. So another pro. <laughs> You get to take advantage of the built out space so it's already been planned and designed generally comes with some IT infrastructure and in some cases furniture we like to call this plug-and-play space this place is great when can we move in you've got to try this pole I'm gonna get my stuff subleases offer short-term flexibility now if you are a growing company with unpredictable business growth or you're waiting for that next round of funding so you can get the space that you really want then subleasing is a great option. Now for a few drawbacks about subleases. You don't have that direct relationship with the landlord. This could have implications if you want to stay in the space longer than the term of your sublease. So typically, when you're on a direct deal basis, you'll have options to renew or extend. In a sublease situation, this isn't the case. That doesn't make sense. If you're loving your sublease and you think you might want to stay after the term, then I would say engage with your sub landlord, your head landlord, and your broker. I'm ready to go in coach, just give me a chance. As soon as possible, so you can see if there's even an option for you to stay in the space. If you're out there in the market looking at subleases, here's our tip, ask a lot of questions. Any questions? After you box them, you ship them. Why are they subleasing the space? What is the direct asking rate in the building? How long a term is left? What are the obligations at the end of the term to restore the premises? Are there any additional fees associated with the sublease? Does rent increase year over year? What's the history of the building's operating costs? Are you paying the landlord a gross rent? A triple net rent? Triple, triple net rent? What are you paying? Do you have the ability to sublease your space? Call that a sub sublease. The more you know, the better. Okay, so you're saying I add up the atomic masses of the proton and the neutron, right? Mm -hmm. I seize that, but what do I do with the goddamn electron? Like I was saying at the beginning, Subleases are kind of like buying a suit off the rack. It could be the perfect fit, but sometimes you just want to go to the tailor. 